Let me explain it this way. We had a soul. We explained last week, that in time of sleep or even weakness, I is the doorway for the soul. And as, as much information goes out of it, more comes in it. Day or night. Does not matter if we close this or not. Continuously absorbs a vision of seeing what is happening, and the soul uses the eye, the cavity of the eye, or the whole of the eye, to be able to penetrate and break into the open spans of the universe in a much easier way, without the bandwidth. But, with a very, very big but, and that is, We go to sleep, and the vision of the soul of the man, does not matter if the physicality of the eye of the man is closed, comes across the mother. He can see, and in return recognizes this soul through his image of the mother. But, since when, Since which time we listen to our eyes? When you dream, does the voice of the mother go through the ear hole that you hear the conversation? Or on return of it, is converted to the noise of the mother, the voice of the mother, as it returns back to itself. Then, is there a reason, that man, considers that he hears the voice of the mother, and what she says through his ear in the soul, or is the information, is actually, transform to the knowledge of the words we understand, and the entry to the eye of the man, and not through the ear of the man. Would you hear God, if He speaks to you, or if you put your fingers in your ears, you will not hear Him, because you've blocked the hearing part from the what we call, the physicality of the man. Now you understand. How the soul of the man, through the dimension of itself, not only sees, but hears through the same. Feels and shares through the same. Does not need arm and a leg to feed itself, but through the span of universe, in what has seen and has, can take what it likes. And strange enough, when it comes to the depth of the space, you see the soul of a creator, or the soul of the creation, and it's for you to understand what it says, through the light of the eye of the man, as the guy does not make a noise, that it can come through the ear of the man. So, what we understand, is when we dream about our mother, and she speaks, do we hear the noise through our ear, or do we convert the voice in the eye of the man, in the direction of the soul of the man? So, if you are deaf, you should not be able to hear the mother. And, if you are blind, you should not be able to dream of the mother, and see how she looks. Or, when you sleep and close your eyes, you cannot hear or see the mother, but you remember everything about what she said, how she looked, what she was wearing. Now, 
you understand how simple the truth about the creation of life is, and how much we have misinformed ourselves, and now we are creating new dimensions to fool ourselves, and convince the others that what we say is a new science. Then, if you understand this, the soul of the man is flat too. And there is no brain. And it hardly creates any atmosphere for itself. Now we understand how far we have to become open-minded to understand the totality and not when we are in space to think there is somebody in my head playing with my head somebody is talking to me because if you change the strength of the fields of your soul or the back wall of your soul, then you can hear. But, not necessarily liking what you have created. 